Hey everyone, welcome back to Hollow Point Defense. Hope you guys are having a good night and staying cool on this summer evening. But we have a new toy here. From the Performance Center. This would be the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Carry Comp. Um, it's compensated and I'm gonna try to refer to it as compensated, not ported, because those are kind of different, vastly different. We won't get into that one, but here we go. It's a nice gun. We'll get into that in a minute. Your box right here has the standard stuff in it. It has two magazines. It has three different mag swells in there. It actually has two of these sleeves that are for the 17 round or 22 rounders. They come with them. But the 17 rounders you could use. It comes with two spares of uh, the sleeves or the spacers. And thought that was a nice touch. There's the paperwork, there's a lock, there's your sticker from Smith & Wesson and your owner's manual and all that good stuff. And a bag of plates for the different optics that are out there. So whatever you're gonna do, whatever you're gonna run, it has plates for it. They're plastic, but they do just fine. I've never had an issue with them. Some people bitch about it, but I've had no problem with it. So let's get right into the gun. Here it is. Nice looking gun. I think it's one of the best looking guns out there right now. And it's got lightning cuts on the side. It's got a lightning cut on the top. It's ported or comped. And it's got the cuts back here. It's got a nice blacked out sight right there. And if you see up here, it's got a nice tritium green sight. Uh, everybody's complaining or some are complaining because this is rounded right here. The sight has got a round. But you know what, when I come up here and I put the sights in there, I don't see the round and I'm gonna run a dot anyway, so I'm not gonna see that. I think complaining about the round port on the bottom is just needless, it's just dumb for me. Uh, if you wanna complain about it, complain about it. That's what it is, that's why they have menus. There's different things for different people. So here we go. It's got a nice flat face trigger to it. And it's not a flat trigger, everybody's, I've heard some people say it's not a flat face trigger because it's curved. It's flat face, they're talking about this part, not the actual trigger. But when you get back here, it's somewhat flat. It's mostly flat with the exception of the curve on top. So on that aspect right there, it does have a nice flat face trigger that I do not need to change out. Uh, it's a waste of money. I'll do just fine with this one against any of those flat face trigger, flat triggers out there. Cause I do have some that have them on it. I don't notice any difference. So when Smith went to this type of trigger right here, it's a vast improvement. I love it and I won't replace them. So here we go. It's a nice gun. It's got good texture on it. I mean, it's got a good feel to it. It's not overly textured, but it's nice. It's got a good feel to it. I plan to run the 23 rounders in it just because I like that little extra right there for me for when I hold it. So, and I have about 10 or 15 of these laying around. So I'm probably just gonna run those just to run them. Probably not the 15s, I'll run 17s or 23s. But let's get back to this gun. There's one thing I found on it. So let's go to this. We're gonna take this thing apart and I'm gonna show you some discrepancies that I have found. This barrel right here, when Smith & Wesson measures the barrel, they go from this end to start to the muzzle. That's how they measure their barrels. So on their spec sheet right there, it says 4.22 inch. That would be from right here to this crown. And that's how they do it. But here's the kicker. On the box, on the very bottom right there, it says barrel 3.875. So what they are doing is Smith & Wesson is measuring from right here, the start of the barrel, to the front edge of the port, right about where my fingernail is. That is what they are measuring. That's 3.78, 3.875, sorry. But if you go by a typical measurement like Smith & Wesson does on all their other guns, it's from the back of here to where the rifling stops, which is the muzzle, or the crown, I should say. If you do that, it actually stops at the front or the start of the port or the comp right there. We'll call it a port. Um, that's where the rifling stops. And if you measure that, it's 
So I am at a loss a little bit of why the box says 3875, why this says 4.22, and you actually measure to where the bullet comes out of the rifling is 3.625. So it is kind of confusing on that. And like I said, it's backboard that much, which is nine, measuring it, it's nine sixteenths of an inch. They backboard or removed all the rifling to nine sixteenths of an inch. So there you go. In a nutshell, that's how it is. I really do like this gun. It's really cool. So we're gonna see what happens with this. Uh, we're gonna go out tomorrow morning. We're gonna run this thing. We're gonna have a good time with it. We'll actually do a range report sometime tomorrow I'll upload it and we'll go from there but it's a really good gun i mean let's put this thing back together one thing i should tell you if you decide to buy one or any smith and wesson gun or gun whatsoever please 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 take them apart field strip them clean them re-oil them because when they come from the factory there's virtually no oil in it so there you go you guys have a good time with it and if you have any questions on this, please let me know and have a good time with it. But one thing I should say on this porting um, that I forgot to mention is why do they back bore it to the start of the port or where the port starts going forward? The reason they do that is when your bullet goes through this port, it has the possibility, high possibility of shaving part of the bullet which means fragmentations coming out through the top of it. And that would slow your bullet down velocity wise and accuracy can be diminished with that. So they remove all that rifling to the start of the port or where the port starts. That way there's no bullet shaving and your velocity and your accuracy is actually improved because that bullet shaving is not there. Plus you don't want that fragmentation coming out and going wherever it goes. So there you go in a nutshell. Like I said, if you have any questions, post below, contact me, and you guys have a good day. Good night, I should say, and we'll see you on the range report. Take care. Bye.